All right, so having good audio quality is just as important as having good video quality. I have a product here that's gonna make your audio quality sound crisp and clear. And that's the Rode VideoGo on camera microphone. Hey, it's Mike. And on this channel, I do a lot of reviews and unboxings just like this one. So if you're new, consider subscribing. All right, so what I have here is a VideoMic Go. And this is a lightweight on camera microphone. This is a fully DSLR only camera, DSLR or mirrorless cameras. If you want to go for something that you can use with your DSLR or your cell phone cameras, then I would recommend going with the Smart Lab or or even the video micro. So the Smart Lab is a really great lavalier microphone where you just use the clip and you clip it onto your lapel. And the other one is the video micro. I've done unboxing of this microphone and I'll leave it up here for you to take a look at as well. So I was able to get this on Amazon for a sale price. I'll leave a link for this right below the like button so you can take a look at it and consider buying it if you want to take your audio to the next level. So one of the things I love about Rode products is the majority of them don't require you to use a battery to operate the microphone. They're all plug and play microphones. So you just plug into your either your DSLR camera or your iPhone or any other smartphone and you're able to use them right afterwards. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to take off the plastic. Open it off like this. So out of the box you get your microphone, you get your Ryko mount and this is intended to prevent your microphone from vibrating or having any jitters while you move your camera. You have your audio filters, we're going to just pop this open quickly. So you have your auxiliary cables as well as your actual microphone and then just a quick start guide the microphone and to attach the microphone to your camera you need to use the horseshoe mount and you're able to tighten it or loosen it up as well and at the back you have your input for your cable so this is a furry windshield that comes with the microphone you can take it off i don't recommend you taking it off all right, so here's the front of the microphone. This is where all the audio is gonna go in through. And this is the side of the microphone. Um, this is just a protective tape. Don't take it off. If you take this off, you're gonna avoid the warranty. And this is just to prevent it from, from having excess noise going through. All right, so the right coat mount, which is the red part over here, intended to isolate the microphone from any bumps or vibrations that could interfere with your sound. Or if you accidentally bump your camera while you're recording, this is supposed to absorb the shocks so you don't get the noise where you hit the camera. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install this on my DSLR camera which is my Nikon D5600. I'll leave a link for the unboxing right up here. However, I've been taking a lot of pictures using the camera which you can see on my Instagram page. i leave a link to my Instagram page below the like button right here. To use this, we just have to open the Ziploc bag and take out the cable. Okay, so we're going to take our audio cable plug it into the back and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our DSLR camera and insert the Rode mic at the top of the camera so you can see how it actually looks from the top. So here's that Rode microphone like we were discussing before and here I have my Nikon D5600. So as I mentioned before to use this properly you just insert the horseshoe mount up here. If the subject you're recording is in front of the camera, just point the microphone forward. If you are recording and doing a lot of B-rolls at the back or recording how I am, just face the microphone to the back. Really simple to do. I'll show you the front. Grab your camera, mount, and it goes in like this. Pretty simple and then I have my microphone slots in here so in here you're gonna insert the other end of the cable like so now if you want to do a lot of b-rolls or record how I record my videos all you do is take the microphone off the mount and just face it the other way you're able to record clear audio while you're recording a video for your next YouTube video, whether it's a tech blog or a YouTube channel. Let me know what you're gonna use this microphone for right below the like button. All right, before I even get into the review, I'm gonna be honest about Rode as a company. I've been using their products for a couple of months now, and I must say their products are really good. I'm not being endorsed by this. One thing, like I mentioned before, I love about the products is the fact that these ones, the beginner microphones, don't require any batteries. It's a simple plug and play, and you're able to take your microphones with you wherever you go. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you think about this microphone and if you're interested in buying it. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.